A in the top right because I'm a weirdo like that and because A, he's gonna have to find this L. Cringe. What's going on people, guns blazing back at it yet again, and say we have another spicy one for you, Extra Fuego. This right here is a Destiny board deck featuring a package of many Karibos, all kinds of strange Ebolas, my guy. Including this guy, Kuri Bobble, because after he's done with them, their head will be bobbling up and down. Anyways, let me just get it out of the way. Like, we're entering full troll territory, and this deck simply gets rolled by any kind of back row removal. But aside from that, Super fun, especially if you find someone that has no ways to deal with the Destiny board and no way to get past the Ebola. Nice juicy 9k beater, but that heals me instead, so I'm up to 16,700. Then the crazy thing is I'm just gonna use my continuous trap, and I can add that right back to my hand every single turn. So here's Dark Spirit Mastery, another important card in this deck. It's used to search Destiny board, but it also has a graveyard effect where you shuffle any Destiny boards and letters from your graveyard or your hand back into the deck so you can draw more cards. Lots of card draw, including a lure and uh, upstart, mainly because you want to get Destiny board out as soon as possible. And then after you secure that, you want to look into getting your um, Battle Faders, your Kuri Bobles, pick up a Solemn Judgment or two, and this is used to uh, prevent them from destroying the Destiny board. And it looks like we're fully set up here because we also have the field spell which makes them coin flip on every one of their attacks as well as the super important effect that you'll see a lot in this video where you can place the letters in your monster zones instead because obviously our spell and trap zones are going to be full. Well actually not always but it's always nice to have that option. Anyways I went ahead and negated a monster that negates monster effects because of course we want to get those bobble a bobbles boblin. And this card is just troll as fook. He summons from the hand whenever uh, an attack is declared, then the attack target gets switched to him, and then he just takes the damage and turns it into healing instead. We even have regular Ebola in hand, so we can do something like this, where if the coin flip fails on the field spell, we can just use Karibo and the damage calc. And of course, we have Battle Fader as an option as well. It just ends the entire battle phase, but obviously I just want to troll with some Ebolas here. The Continuous Trap on the right, Sentence of Doom by the way, it returns any amount of uh, fiends from your Banish or Graveyard. So literally every battle phase, you're just dropping multiple Ebola and then picking them up later, up to the amount of letters that you have. Oh, thank you so much for the sick tales from the Sanctuary right here. And um, this thing is going to get pumped up every time we activate an effect. I'm just gonna bobble on this guy so I can give myself some life points before he gets too huge. Keep in mind also you can use um, Sentence of Doom in the battle phase, but even if you toggle on, you can't get the Kuri bobble right back after. So you can't use them on two attacks in a row unless you have more than one copy of it. So this guy's at like 7k, 8k now? 9? Now he's really getting huge! But like, it's done its attacks, it can only attack twice a turn. I got the Bobo back, so I'm gonna heal up even more, and this is the final turn. Although we only have three letters right now, we're gonna pick up our fourth during the end phase. And the additional effect of Sentence of Doom is that you can sack it, and it'll pick up a letter for you. Anyways, here we go. A in the top right, because I'm a weirdo like that, and because A, he's gonna have to find this L. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Anyways, if anyone was wondering, I was doing some, like, myth busting with this, and it doesn't even have to be in an order that makes sense at all. Here like we got Destiny board on the right and then it's like L-N-A-I-F. Letters are unaffected and unattackable when they're in the monster zone. I even tried using them as Xyz materials on rank 1 Xyz monster to see if we can still get the win condition while they're attached as materials on the field. And here's what happens. Nothing happens. Anyways, if it was not obvious, this is not a competitive deck. All these gimmicky anime style decks are just... If they have an answer for it, you're probably gonna fold over. We do have a little insurance in the way of Solemn Judgments. And you also have Dark Spirit Mastery, which let's say they destroy your letters, then you can get them back from the grave and shuffle them back into your deck. But apart from that, there's nothing really holding the opponent back from completely destroying your win condition. But with that being said, there are plenty of people on the low ladder that are not packing answers to this, and sometimes you'll even get lucky and they won't pull their answers. So here we got some Resonator action going on. I'm not afraid to pop Solemn because we do have the Kuri Bobo in hand. Plus we've even got Doom Sentence to recycle it. And so I'm not really worried about anything this guy puts out here for now. He's gonna end up with two monsters, I'm just gonna bobble the first attack. 
and add the bobble back. But as I said, like even if you toggle on, you're not gonna be able to use them again in time. Draw chicken game here. Chicken game picks up battle fader, so that's nice. Also got another solemn. Also, this guy did not pop the chicken game, so there's really no point in attacking here. Anyways, again, don't expect too much from these players. They're just here to learn, and I'm just here to meme. Now, here's the thing. I was clogged, right? But fortunately, I picked up the Sanctuary, which lets me get the final letters onto the Monster Zones. And here, if you've ever wondered which chipmunk was getting the best head, it is, of course, Alfin. Alfin the chipmunk, get it, dude? Oh my, anyways, I gotta show you this one where I just got completely, like, shafted by RNG. You saw that, right? I picked up I-N-A-L before I even got F. Just bricked out of my mind, and then on top of that, look at, look at this nonsense. Tails. Tails. Tails! Scripted loss AF. This is like Lakers Kings 2002, dude. Anyways, here's the list. We got 10 monsters, which are mostly just level 1 fiends, which can be used to protect you, as well as go out into the Xyz level 1 monsters in the extra deck. Plus, they can all be discarded by Allure, and also, you can recycle them back into your hand with Sentence of Doom. Then, of course, we got all the draw and search cards. Gives us consistency, lets us get up fast. I mean, get set up fast, sorry. Then you've got the field spell, and this is the one that uh, gives you the coin flips and lets you put destiny board letters on your monster zones. This deck has so many weird ultra rares, like it's so pay to lose. Definitely do not pick this up on your main, my boys. Then of course you've got your letters and three slots for solemn judgment or whatever you want to use to try and protect your destiny board. Cause with the bobble recycling, your life points will already be good, right? But the real problem is people are going to target destiny board and once one letter or destiny board goes down, all the letters go down with it as well. This is a recycler sentence of doom as well as it gets you the letters on board. Keep in mind you can only choose one effect per turn. And then extra deck, all the monsters pretty much have the same function. You exceed out with usually a battle fader because it summons a plus one of your other level ones. And Nightingale is just another free battle phase survived. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And here we got some red eyes going on. I really don't know what it is with the, like low ladder and their love for dragon decks. Just like blue eyes everywhere you see, galaxy eyes everywhere you see. But whatever, I'll take it. This replay is to show like pretty much one of the best case scenarios you can have where you can finish off your final right away. And this is if you open with Destiny Board and you pick up a couple of Sentences of Doom. Because again, literally that's just turbo letters. So I pop this one on my turn and then just insta pop this one on their turn. And then boom, there you go. Another win condition that was not given an animation by Konami for whatever reason. This guy, this guy was a little weird because he, ha he had a thing about destroying the field spells, man. Like he's just gonna solve this. Knowing I have Destiny Board set, he just had some kind of irrational hatred for Dark Sanctuary. And I found that pretty interesting. It was, it was pretty interesting. Anyways, here's what I was saying about the dragon decks, like, it's just blue eyes everywhere. And this guy is eventually just gonna get a huge ass board filled with blue eyes, but we have some battle faders. And we've got the doom sentence, so battle fader, again, is another dark fiend. And so we can just keep recycling him. Yo, get this coin flip out of my screen, man, like, I already know it's tails, that's why I don't rely on this. Actual national rigged association, dude. Anyways, go ahead and recycle some regular Ebolas. This guy's gonna eventually go, I think, Bingo Machine, yeah. And then he goes and picks up Chaos Form. Potentially, like, we don't know what's really added to his hand, but... As you saw earlier, we do have ways to deal with Chaos Max if it does come out. Not only with a Bobbler that gives us like 8k free life points, but we can also use Karibo in the damage step. Actually, on damage calc, rather. But let's be real, who's really gonna make that distinction? And this is probably the most demoralizing thing to see, just like the bobble is coming back to the hand. Along with the battle fader, like literally every single turn. Again, like super 50-50 deck, it's either like they have a way to deal with this or they don't. Chaos but not max shows up, so I'm not really scared of this thing. And the final nail in the coffin is gonna be this last bobble, which ends up shattering his mental. Alright, before I head off, today's question of the day, what is your favorite alternate win condition? in Yu-Gi-Oh, whether it be just TCG, Duel Links, or Master Duel. And please explain why, and please put your address, and please put your social security number. But like, man, it's so weird to see some alternate win conditions not having an animation. I guess only Exodia gets one because it's friggin' Exodia. And I guess it's not as important to Master Duel because they're not really trying to get the anime vibe too much here. So I guess it's kind of justified that they're not adding an animation for every win condition. 
Oh, and like one last thing to note, like if you have if you have this setup right here where it's just destiny board, you get your first four letters, but you don't have the field spell, you should probably be careful. I'm just gonna pop this psalm right away because I'm gonna be clogged if I don't. And then the other thing is I'm gonna get my final letter on this end phase before I get to pop my two sentences. But you cannot pop the final sentence. Like I cannot get L here. So if it ever gets like this, you'll have to wait for your field spell. And like I said, it's all blue eyes down here, dude. Always has been. Always has been. One last bobble for the boys. Get it back. And there's a the field spell. Guys, hope you enjoyed the clips. Have yourselves a good one. And please tell your mother that I do appreciate